Mental health nurses will soon be going out on patrol with police officers in the West Midlands. Nurses will also assist on emergency calls and in control rooms. Our reporter Sean Grescheck is outside West Midlands Police Headquarters in Birmingham City Centre for us. Uh, so Sean, what's the idea behind this? Well, the government said it's about helping people with serious mental health dif difficulties to get the support that they need, whilst at the same time allowing uh, and freeing up frontline police officers to fight crime. Well, I'm joined by the Assistant Chief Constable for West Midlands Police, Gary uh, Forsyth. Um, Gary, just how beneficial would a, a scheme like this be for officers? Well, currently our officers out on patrol spend a significant amount of time dealing with vulnerable people, often who are in crisis. Uh, that can be quite complex and take up a significant amount of their time. So having these frontline professionals all together to deal with it in the same place could be extremely beneficial for us. Well, um, I'm joined by um, Andrea uh, Maynard, who is actually one of the, the lead nurses who is going to be heading up uh, this pilot for Birmingham and Solihull. Um, how, how do you think, what sort of a difference, Andrea, do you think this will make? How will it work? It will work with um, one experienced nurse going out with a police officer and a paramedic in a fast response vehicle. Um, the call will come through and they will go to where the crisis is at that time. They'll be able to advise the police officers of the best course of action at that time, therefore bringing services, better services to the client uh, in a quicker time frame. And how does that compare to what's happening at the moment then? Currently, at the moment, there are approximately about 500 people per year who the police have detained under their powers of arrest when they're concerned that there are mental health issues who are then taken to a place of safety for a further assessment, which is obviously a delay in services. It takes up police time, so it will free up people and it will be better for the patient experience. OK, Andrea and Gary, thank you very much indeed for joining us live tonight. And this pilot scheme is expected to be rolled out towards the end of the year, if not early next year. John Grescheck, thank you.